The question of the role of marketing in a recession is top of mind, I think, for a lot of people, and for, for good reason. What brands will survive and come out stronger from the recession? You have to step up your marketing when times are difficult, when markets are unstable, uh, because you want to sustain your share of the market. Many people ask, what's the role of marketing in reigniting growth in a recession? In many ways, the time to spend on marketing is precisely at these moments of consumer volatility where people are significantly reassessing the way they spend their money. Customers themselves are more savvy. The way they use us is different. Consumer behaviour becomes much more critical in a downturn. There's probably no more important time to be really closely plugged in uh, to what consumers think. Speed and reacting to the changing world that we have will be absolutely critical. The online medium in the UK is now worth about £3 billion. It's soon going to overtake TV. These days, marketers' primary job is not to manage their brand so much as to manage the conversation around their brand. And those conversations, of course, are occurring as much online as anywhere else. Digital in the form of PC, mobile, and a good example of this, uh, video content, uh, those will be uh, become more and more important. It's also now free to speak to the world at the touch of a button. That's unimaginable in terms of its potential, what it can do for a business. Use it as the opportunity to communicate about your products. Use it as the opportunity to get feedback instantly about how people like your products. By combining digital and traditional marketing methods, you can get more bang for your buck and uh, you can come out of the slowdown more successful than your competitors. I have no doubt that the brands that will succeed and endure in the 21st century will be those brands that were born out of the current economic downturn. Thank you very much for coming and um, I hope we'll have a very interesting day. I'm going to get straight into uh, uh, what we're up to. How are we going to do more with less in this downturn? How are we going to rise to the challenges posed by, amongst others, the First Lords to the Treasury and um, Sir Martin Sorrell? Um, and how are we going to do... Uh, how are we going to think about that? Who, what and how? Who are we today? So in the room today, uh, valued colleagues, marketeers, clients and partners um, thank you very much for your business with Google. Um, we value the way we work together, and it feels to me very much in the UK as though we are at the forefront of what we're doing digitally worldwide. In the UK, we've got um, more uh, of a proportion of media and marketing spend online than in any of the other major markets, nearly double the US. Consumers here spend three times as much per head as consumers in the US do on e-commerce. So we really are, in this room, w working out the rules for marketing in the digital world. So that's who we are. What are we going to do today? Well, Mark's talked about that. We're going to really try to understand a bit more about the challenges we face and what are people doing. Very practical stuff, I hope. Um, and like the search engine, we're going to try to deliver uh, a range of different facts and insights to you. And you know, you're the people who can make sense of them, not us. So unapologetically, there, there are lots of different views that you'll hear, not one particular point of view. We can't do it in, in 0.012 of a second, unfortunately, but we're trying to do it fairly rapidly. Um, and finally, in terms of how we're going to do it, you, you've got agenda packs uh, in your bags. Hopefully you've, you've seen those. In those, bag, in those packs, you'll also find a pair of 3D specs. So those of you who have tried the specs on already will realize that if you put them on, you can see a three-dimensional dolphin in the middle of this room. It's really beautiful, so I encourage you to have a look at that. Uh, some of our new technology. So put, put your specs on when you're getting bored, and you'll see the 3D dolphin in the middle of the room. <laughs> Nobody's trying. Uh, it's fantastic technology. I'd encourage you to do it. So how do you think about marketing? Marketing is really complicated. There are lots of bits to it. For me, the easiest way to think about marketing is who, what, and how. Who are we targeting? Well, traditionally, it's a segment. It's a segment defined by some broad socioeconomic types because that's the way we, we try and reach the, these people. So a segment based on research. The research takes some months to do. It may be out of date by the time we get it. It's quite expensive, but it gives us some insights into who the target consumer is, and then we create a demographic proxy for who those consumers are. What we offer them, what we offer them is typically a very clearly thought through single message that we uh, can communicate loud and clear. And how we deliver it 
Well, we put that message out across traditional advertising and across uh, PR and communications. Don't we? That, that's how we do marketing, in the, simplest, in the simplest form. But now, we're digital. Now, there are a trillion URLs in our index. Um, there are 1.6 billion people connected to the internet via computers. That's more than the population of China. There are 4 billion people with mobile phones in the world. Uh, in the UK, 25% of the people with mobile phones use them regularly to access the internet. So we're digital. The world's digital. The mass market is digital. So clearly what you do is you think about how you do your marketing, and you take your newspaper trousers, your TV shirts, your outdoor overcoat, and you pop on your digital, digital sunglasses, and it all works because you put those things together, and it's part of how you do marketing. Well, I think that, that's not the right view in our view because we think that digital can change the way you look at all aspects of marketing, can change the way you look at who the consumer is, how you communicate, uh, and what you're offering. So looking at the world through a digital lens can, lens can change the way uh, you go about marketing. Who no longer research and demographic proxy, but actually real-time insights about what consumers are doing and uh, who is looking for your products and services right now. You can target people based on what they're doing, not a proxy for who they are. You can target people based on their actual interests observed in terms of the time they spend doing different things. What you're offering no longer needs to be one message for everybody. It can be a message um, that's tailored to every single individual. It can be a message that's not just about content you've created, but content that your consumers have created and content that other people have created about your brand. So if you think about the travel industry, it's gone from being a brochure that the travel company produces to that brochure being available online to actually most of the decisions about the travel purchase being based upon what people read on the internet that have been written by people who are not the travel company, TripAdvisor, or reviews on a range of different sites, or reviews in uh, traditional media. So completely changing uh, the what. And in terms of the how, it's no longer about push. It's about pushing and pulling the content. And we'll talk about some of those things um, today. So I guess the big message uh, for me to start this up is marketing, if you, keep it, if you keep it simple, and it's hard to say, but simple uh, to do, who, what, and how, how do you look, to look at the world through digital lenses and see the insights um, about what consumers are doing. So I do put, pop your lenses, pop your glasses on now. The insights about what consumers are doing. Real-time data that can allow you to change what you're up to. What you're offering can be tailored to the consumer. Can you see the dolphin? Can everybody see the dolphin? Hands up who can see the dolphin. Nobody can see the dolphin. Maybe it just it only works this way. You look like you look a beautiful audience. Thank you very much. <laughs> 